Connecticut has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Makes it out to about the 36. He's going to get some congratulations for that nice display of running. Normally, his job is to block. He's got the corner. Runs it right. Nice pickup. They'll give it off here. And down he goes at about the 49. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. Makes it to the 41. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 41. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Third and eight. Ball on the 26 yard line. He's scrambling. At the 16 yard line. The 10 gains his way to the 7 yard line. A strong run by the fullback will give him a gain of 9. And they'll bring him down behind the line. I think the corner is the toughest position to play in football. You have to be athletic enough to be able to run with wide receivers and willing to be able to come up and make plays like this to be able to stop the run. This is a big time play by a corner showing the versatility to be able to come up and be physical in the run game. Quick throw in the end zone, touchdown. Got the quarterback, the offensive line, and the receivers made a concerted effort to get into the end zone. And he tacks on the extra point. A 13 play, 75 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. So our score, 7 0. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Huskies have been talking with them this week, Kirk. It's just interesting, their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself. And I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him to football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I, I'd be shocked if they can slow him down. Orange three! Orange three! And his 
hands on it and dropped it. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. From their own 37-yard line, second down. Just throws this one away. doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Pretty good-looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. Army is up a score. He's taken down around the 20 yard line. They'll knock him down for a loss. The option can be really tough to defend. At that time, it was well played by the defense. From their own 18-yard line, third down. Out of bounds, the 20-yard line. Booming kick. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. From their own 39-yard line. It's second down. Black five, black five. X. Easy, easy. Blue 20. Good outside run there. That's a gain of four on the play. Man left, man left. And they make the stop at the 43. Number 17 on the tackle at the 43 yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43. They'll go Brown. And he's taken down around the 43-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. And he's sacked. Well, these kind of plays result in a lot of confidence from this defense and the defensive coordinator. I will not be surprised to see this defense continue to bring this kind of pressure against this offense. And now they're faced with another third and long as they try to convert and move those chains again. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Taking back a yard. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. 
This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Army's making a bid for an upset here today, Herbie, but do they really have it in them, do you think? Brad, it's been a, it's a great start by this team, but I just can't see them holding up for four quarters. I think eventually you'll see the better team emerge. We're about set to start things up again. Army up seven points. And they'll get him in the backfield. No game. That makes it second in time. Mark check, 33. 33. Ready? Black 90. Come on. Throws to the fullback. They can't hook up. Incomplete. So at the end of one quarter, Army leads it 7-0. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Q26, Q26. Yeah, let's get a sack lunch. Let's go! He's gonna go for the home run. Big catch there as they knock him out of bounds. It definitely put them in better field position. And I just have a feeling that they're gonna punch it into the end zone on this drive. around the 42-yard line. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. Second and 14. Second and 14. Ball on the 42. And he's tackled around the 45-yard line. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. One job on passing situations. Get to the quarterback, and he did that job very, very well on that play. Come on, dude. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. Gets to about the 37-yard line. So they turn it over on downs, and that's a big boost for this defense. In a close game like this one, it's big plays like this that can be the deciding factor. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. <laughs> He's going to try and scramble. Slides down. The quarterback picks up around six yards on the scramble. They're about four yards away here on second down. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. Call it a gain of five yards. First down. Check tight right. Check the outs out there. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. Three down. Rose complete. He's got space to work. Good open field tackle. Number nine on the tackle at the 39 yard line. From the 39 yard line. First down. Green nut. And he's immediately tackled. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. And that was the sophomore linebacker there who was able to get in and make that tackle. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. And two. <laughs> Throws complete. He's got room to work. Tackle made at the 10-yard line. Number 23 is the tackle at the 10-yard line. 
That makes it first and goal. goal. Five wide. Check, check 43. Go! He gets rid of this one. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Green nine, green nine. There's another pass to the tight end, and he's got it. He's knocked out of bounds right around the two-yard line. Good, what impresses me off. so much is the guy's that vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. This is where the defense makes a name for themselves. It's third down and goal from the one. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. They'll bring him down at the two. point to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Well, really a defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around the football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. And probably the offensive coordinator, take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Now he's going to run and watch out. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 45. That's doubly bad for this defense, giving up a big run like that and then letting him get out of bounds to stop the clock. From their own 45-yard line, it's first down. Throw. I don't think he got anything on that. He didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. Just throws this one away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Brought down the 30-yard line. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 30. Red two. Excellent. Throws middle of the tight end. And down he goes, right around the 42-yard line. First down. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Tackle at the 45-yard line. The screen pass goes nowhere. Well, you got to take your hat off to the defense. All week, they preached over and over again how they were not going to let this kid use his speed in the open field, and they really shut him down that time. Complete right now. Nothing doing. Hit immediately. 
It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. tie game at 7-7. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Perhaps the most important statistic in any football game is turnover margin. I once had a wise coach tell me that the football was so important they named the game after it. Whatever that means. I think it means that you're not supposed to let it get away from you and give it to the other team. And so far, both of these offenses have done a great job of that. No doubt. And most games are lost, not won. And, and it's because of the turnover differential. And you can look at the stats when you say that every single time. But, you know, both teams doing a good job taking care of it. Both offenses executing and still calling a game, still, still scoring points, still putting up good numbers but at the same time taking care of the pigskin. And they better value that thing because, yeah, you give it away and bad things happen. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. It's going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. Well, we welcome you back to the action. Just about set to start the second half in a tie ball game. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Good tackle there in space. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. From their own 36-yard line. First down. Dog four, X7. Go! He makes it to the 38-yard line. the catch. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. What was that? First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Red two! Here's the give. Tries to get around the corner. Nice run there as they work the outside. That brings up second and goal. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. Touchdown, Huskies. Great job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. That is a clutch touchdown. Tie game, and they find a way to put it in for six. I know there's a lot of time left, but that was a big one. And he converts the extra point. Connecticut ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Huskies continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's taken down right around the 48-yard line. Easy. 
Gets out to around the 28. Defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. From the 31-yard line, second down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a game of five yards. That makes it 37. to catch it. He's got nowhere to go. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. He gets it up, and it's good! That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. 14-10, UConn. Army gets set to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Black Knights have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. This offense threw the ball extremely well on their last drive, and they ended up with a touchdown. I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. Connecticut is up four. Red two. He's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Knocked out of bounds at the 44-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Once and all, going deep. Open man, and it's his wide receiver. It's away from him. Touchdown. White out here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. Where was the coverage there? There wasn't anybody near him at all. He makes the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And they make the stop around the 27-yard line. That's good for two yards. That makes it second and eight. And he's taken down at the 27th. Can't ask for much more than a three and out. Great job, defense. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He's tackled at the 33-yard line. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receiver. Right now with this offense, 
They are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 33. That two! And he's tackled at the 47-yard line. That's, That's good, good for a game, game of 14 yards. yards. First, First down. down. Red two! Green nine! Green hey, nine! Kill it, motion me out. Would have been a big play by the defense. He can't hold it. You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance. But that's exactly what they did by not making that interception. From their own 47-yard line, it's second down. Dog four, orange three. He's tackled around the 43-yard line. Push him out at about the 43 yard line. Sometimes it's not the huge distance, but precision that you need from your punter. Nicely done. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. And he is drilled at the 34-yard line. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. And he shoved out of bounds at the 41. Good gain by the tailback of about seven on the option play. Here's the throw to the fullback, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Don't leave yet, folks. we still got one more quarter to go. 21-10, UConn. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Mike check, 33, 33. Makes it to the 47. Discipline here by the defense, stringing the option out and plugging the running lanes. That moved them back. It's second down now and 14 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Quick throw out to the receiver. Tackle made to the 38-yard line. He's at the 30, he's at the 20. They'll bring him down at the 11. They'll get him for a loss. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That brings up second and 13. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. From the 16-yard line, it's third down. 
Key 26, Key 26. Double, double, double. Ah. Finds the man, touchdown. <laughs> So the kicker's going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. Flares it out to the right. That's to the fullback. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Connecticut has a three-point lead. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 37. And on the corner. Nice run to the outside. Makes the set goal. Gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. Larry, Larry. Mike six. Mike six. Red two. Red seven. Red seven. Motion, motion, motion. Go. First and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. Green nine! Green nine! Blue four! Blue four! Go! He's on the run. Fires quickly and it's picked off. What is he thinking? The quarterback has got to know at this time in the game, unless his man is wide open, that he should just throw it away. It's these kinds of mistakes that can cost you a game. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 23. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. And he's stopped behind the line. The offense knows that the linebackers are cheating up a little bit on the run. They can get some protection. They might want to open up a little bit of space for some passes underneath. just a little bit more on target. Biggest third down and long of the football game right here in the fourth quarter. Under pressure, and he's sacked. And it seemed like they had no problem getting to the quarterback on that play. Great call by the defensive coordinator to call the blitz. It left the defensive lineman free to get to the quarterback. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Get down, get down, get down. Down. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Brought down at the 50. 
The Husky staff has got to be ecstatic. Whether it's chess or checkers, they're playing out there today. They're winning. Well, this defensive staff trying to slow down this offense came in with a mindset of stopping the running game, first and foremost. And unfortunately for this defense, they've lost a battle out on the perimeter. And right now, they're giving up too many big plays through the air. Tackle around the 40-yard line. Now, the execution of this offense has been on display here in this drive. They know what they needed to do, and that's pick up the first down, work the clock, and finish this game off. And with that first down, they may have done it. Nice run there. Army's going to have to use their second time out of the half. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. A little over a minute in the game. And down he goes around the 33-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. That was the junior linebacker who get credit with the tackle there. after a decent pickup. Huge first down right there by the offense, Brad. At this point, they're just trying to work the clock and preserve the victory. It's first and 10. Ball on the 26. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. And the ball game's over, and our final score in this one, Connecticut 21, Army 18. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.